Hi, and welcome to another episode of I Found an Annoying Thing, and I'm going to fix it. On today's episode, battery chargers. Why are they so annoying? I'll tell you why. Because you put it in the wall. You put batteries in, and then you find, oh, I have more batteries to charge. Where do they go? They go underneath. You see that batteries are charged. You take them out. You put, you put, you put the not charged batteries in. And then you have charged batteries and non-charged batteries all mixed together. That's a problem. And I have the solution. Introducing the battery charginator version 4. Uh, it's not finished. I'm only on version 4. It still technically doesn't charge batteries, but it's very close to it. So I'm going to start off by uh, showing you how I got here and where I plan going from here. Uh, let's start off with version one. Version one was this. Uh, version one was more of a, uh, was more of a, uh, a concept to see whether this, would, uh, whether this would actually work. The idea is that you take some batteries, you put, you, you, you put, them, you put them in the, in the holder. Uh, the idea is you just kind of like slide them slide them down like a like a tube and they go down here and then they stop here there's two prongs here that will charge the battery and then when that battery is charged i have a little i have a hole here that uh that a servo goes into this is too thick to push it out but uh, i have video footage of this so it's fine you can just slice it in and uh, when the battery is charged the little servo activates it kicks this battery out Obviously not rolling down my desk because that just adds to the problem of mixing batteries together, but it will go into a holder, uh, which then pushes another battery into the charging area. And again, this battery will charge and then it will be evicted from, from its position. Cool, I don't care. Um, me and Ali wrote a script for uh, Open Seas and uh, it decided to break. So now we are getting spammed with messages about it breaking. So that's version one. Let's move on to version two. Version two inherits most things from version one, but makes them slightly better. What we have in version two is, uh, is an actual placement for the uh, servo that pushes the batteries out. And so the servo sits in there and I had a little um, kebab bamboo skewer that had uh, that had little nubs on it that would go up and down and that would connect to the uh, servo and it would kick out the battery when it was done charging. Uh, and that worked pretty much flawlessly. So, so the batteries would, would go in here. Uh, again, they would be charged and then it would get kicked out and then on and on. And that worked so well, I went on to version three now version three um, didn't go very well. Uh, it went on a diet, so I decided to uh, to to get rid of a lot of the uh, the walls and supports it had, and uh, it broke immediately upon lifting off the bed. So uh, not too great, but it still worked. So I did my testing. This one has two servos. One servo goes there. That's the one that ejects the battery and one servo goes there. The purpose of this servo is to push the battery into that wall where, there's a, where there will be a connector here and another connector on the servo arm that will just push into the, uh, into the battery and will charge it. And then when it's done charging, that servo releases, battery get, gets kicked out, another battery rolls down, connects, and the process repeats. And again, that worked really well, apart from the bits that didn't, you know, these bits. So, version 4. Now, version 4 is fully featured with Bluetooth connectivity, which we will not be using for this demonstration. Fuck, it just unplugged itself. Uh, actually, can I? I was kind of being lazy, but I might be able to just... The answer is no, because I meddled in the software so much that it is no longer has Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, let me push an update. Mm -hmm. 
I just pushed an update to the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, which is running the whole show, and it works with Bluetooth now, again. I was doing some testing. So, again, we stuck up batteries in here, last like, just like that. And uh, what we can see is I have control over server one. You weren't supposed to do that. I figured it out. So. Uh, I have button one, which uh, releases the battery from being pushed against the wall, being charged, and then it pushes it out. So, number one, opens that, checks out the battery. Perfect. And then I have number two, which, which resets the battery, and then pushes it back against the wall. And then I have a loop that just does the whole thing in sequence. Beautiful, just beautiful. So where am I going from here? I have sticky notes of designs, but essentially I want this to be sort of like a tower design where you put batteries in the top, they sort of go down this, this trailing thing. I think I threw away the sticky notes for illustration. Oh well, but they will, they, they will, you will put batteries in the top of it where they will sort of uh, snake their way down where they will end up over here at this charging thing, where they will be charged, and then they will be thrown out, and they will roll down here and into another holding area, sort of a snake holding area, so that it's all nice and contained in one, in one tower that you can just kind of place on the shelf and just be like, yes, it charges my batteries. So you can just have a bunch of batteries you throw in it, it charges them, it puts them at the bottom, and then whenever you want a battery, it's there. And whenever you have a dead battery, just put it back in the top, and it's charged. Hip hip hooray, problem solved, Thomas number one. <laughs> you just had to walk in at the most awkward moment. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, episode one of my battery changer. Uh, I won't publish any of the designs I'm working on or any of the code I'm working on because again, it's still very early beta. The idea is that I won't even have Bluetooth connectivity because it's just a gimmick I'm kind of experimenting with on the side because I've never actually used Bluetooth. But yeah, I mean, I've used Bluetooth, I just haven't... God, I've gone too far, haven't I? I've used Bluetooth before. I just haven't made it made anything where I program my own Bluetooth thing. Hopefully on the next episode, I will have a, a better featured version of this after that print is done. That's going to take about 38 hours. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Uh, follow, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all those thingy majiggies. If you want more constant update feeds, follow me on Instagram. I'm most active there. Um, my room seems to be changing in every episode, but I think this layout might stick around for a little bit longer. Cut to next week where it's all completely different again. All right, cool. I'm, I'm dragging this out. Goodbye.